Hello friends, let's learn practically data restrictions in the universe design. So data restri restriction is nothing but a, con a restriction of the data based on some of the conditions. So the theory section I have already covered in uh, the other video, the link, link for that video is available in this video description. You can go through that video first if you want to understand uh, in detail about the data restrictions. Practically here we will see means how we can implement uh, data restrictions in the universes. So there are different different types of uh, data restrictions in the universe de design at on object level. Means in a where clause we can uh, ha we can apply the where clause uh, where condition. In the select clause also we can apply the restriction and there is on table level as well. So that let's see means this is uh, one of the business layer which I have already clear uh, created. Uh, so, uh, so these are the different different objects. Suppose, suppose uh, some of the objects means like suppose on this country objects, I just wanted to uh, apply a restriction uh, for uh, some specific condition. So, what we can do means I can uh, write some code here in this where block. If you see this where block is there, and we can go to the C SQL assistant, and there means you can say means suppose I wanted to add a country name is equal to let's see means uh, what are the con countries are there for just i wanted to have uh, for usa so let's see means um, okay so uh, this is uh, this is the one condition which i wanted to so whatever the data which we wanted to uh, get is just for uh, get uh, for the usa country so now when we apply this condition and if you click on this show values button, it should just give the USA result. Now if I remove this, it should uh, give all the data uh, for this um, object. So this is the one way uh, to apply the restriction on the objects. The other way is uh, coming to uh, this SQL statement. Let's say means we wanted to have some of the fil uh, filter condition. Uh, where we wanted to perform some calculation on some of the uh, measures. So what we can do means we can say, see, suppose this is a some um, this is a sales uh, revenue uh, uh, measure where we we can we are performing some calculation. So what we can do, uh, we can apply some uh, case statement here, uh, which will uh, just check some of the condition maybe for a so year like. Uh, so suppose let's see means I have this uh, one of the um, I, I can just check uh, this here so what is this uh, if you say means um, this is one of the sum uh, statement but in that you will find this case statement so this case statement is nothing but it will check here and rental dot sell date uh, when uh, 2003 so for 2003 year uh, this is a formula which i wanted to um, apply if you see this is and uh, if, if that is uh, this this complete formula means based on uh, year 2003 for other years i will uh, I can add like when to some four, then I need to add or or else means for rest of all the years, I'll make zero or something. Means this is the one of the condition where we can restrict the data in the select clause. So the first way is on this where clause, and second one is on select clause. We can uh, apply various condition here in this case with the case statement. So this is very simple. Means you can if you go to the SQL assistant as well. Means you will find this uh, functions here. Uh, let's see type C case uh, so now means if you go uh, if you just wanted to have this case statement see means it will appear here and you can just type some conditions here and then when then and this is so this is the way means uh, you you can apply this uh, case statement in the in the select uh, clause okay so this is one way to uh, calculate uh, to restrict the data on uh, select uh, clause okay so then there there is other uh, restriction is uh, this is again in a business layer so now in a data foundation uh, as well means there is a possibility where we can restrict the data uh, which i already shown you 
so maybe I mean suppose this is a cell table and this table contains uh, sales and rental uh, data so uh, suppose we just wanted to get the data for uh, sales or just just about uh, re rental then we can add the filter here uh, saying means is uh, whenever you click on any of the objects here means suppose cell type means you can uh, additionally this is uh, you can say uh, insert filter uh, this is already created now let's let me let me see means one of the table means if i say in insert filter so now it will show you means what is uh, so suppose i just wanted to uh, get the quantity which is uh, like greater greater than equal to 10 so we can validate and we can just select. so now whatever the cell model uh, table it will just give the data which which has the quantity more than 10 so this is one type of uh, filter we can uh, apply so this is table level table level filter so there are three uh, filters uh, or there are three uh, restrictions data restrictions in the data uh, in the universe design uh, design process in the information design tool first one is on where clause second one is on a select clause and then uh, third one is at on tab tab table or on a column level so this is again nothing but a column filter okay so this is all about um, data restrictions in this uh, information design tool i hope you have understood uh, this concept if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about my next unit video thank you for watching